So this is a very, very interesting report uh, coming out that apparently Microsoft is considering bringing some of their first party titles over to PS5, which again is very, very interesting. And there's multiple titles that we're gonna be talking about here in this video. So if you do enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more my friends. I uh, do a variety of gaming content here on the channel. Like I said, uh, just interacting with the with the content really helps out the content more than you uh, may realize. It tells YouTube that you guys enjoy it and then they share it with more people. Uh, if you don't like it though, it's completely fine. No pressure, just let me know why so I can improve the content in the future as we're always trying to make things bigger and better. And uh, yeah, I don't know, just yeah, better. But uh, all right, let's go ahead and jump into this. So. The first report, there's two different reports. Uh, the first report was about, um, was when I think it was like a couple days ago. I'm, I'm a little bit late to this one. It was over the weekend. And this was that uh, Microsoft is reportedly planning to bring Starfield over to PS5 as part of a new initiative to bring more Xbox exclusive games to other consoles. So Xbox, Microsoft, they're in this position where they're just, they're just ready to bring other games. We had certain games like Super Lucky Tale, Super Lucky, what was it called? Super Lucky's Tale? I forget, anyways, but you know, Super Lucky Tale, whatever it's called, uh, that was on the Switch and stuff. There was a couple other kind of small games like that. Uh, but apparently there's other games that they're they're uh, they're planning to bring. So according to Xbox Era, which cites anonymous sources who are claiming uh, that Bethesda's RPG is, is planned to be released on Sony's console, they're also saying that it's alongside previously rumored Hi-Fi Rush and as well as Sea of Thieves ports. Um, so apparently this the, there's already three Three games right here, and there's actually more, but there's three games right here already. Starfield, Hi-Fi Rush, and Sea of Thieves that are, are apparently planning to be ported. Sea of Thieves sounds like it would be a good idea because especially with the multiplayer you know, side of things, especially if they can have the cross-play uh, aspects uh, kind of with it. It's been super popular on Xbox, so you know, to have more of a player base. And again, it's still Microsoft Xbox that owns these games, so they're, they're still making money off them, uh, I would assume being sold on other platforms. So I don't know, very interesting to say the very least. Um, but obviously, you know, VGC has asked Microsoft for comment on this report. And, uh, you know, they, they, as far as I, I am aware, they have not, uh, they've not replied to them. Beyond that, uh, it's also reported that Bethesda's upcoming Indiana Jones game uh, could be another first party Xbox title that is set to release on PlayStation 5, according to The Verge sources. So again, we got sources from all over the place coming in. This isn't just like one person on, on 4chan or something being like, hey guys, uh, so we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get all these games on the PlayStation. Uh, it's nothing like that. We have multiple different sources that are coming in saying that, you know, oh yeah, this game is gonna be coming, this game's gonna be coming. And, um, you know, reliable outlets. I mean, The Verge, obviously, you know, their, their sources, you would assume are gonna be fairly you know accurate uh so we got you know vgc in on this we got the virgin on it like we got all these different sources r reporting uh to the, all these different outlets uh talking about all these different games we're actually not done though uh we're actually not done but it, just to finish the report on indiana jones uh they're saying that the report is that uh, you know, a new multi-platform approach for certain Xbox games is emerging inside Microsoft that they're being told with the company weighing up uh, which titles will remain exclusive and others uh, that will appear on Switch or PS5 in the future, it wrote. Uh, Bethesda will reportedly launch its Indiana Jones uh, game uh, first as an Xbox console exclusive, and then followed by, you know, maybe PS5 release, you know, some months later, when, who knows. Um, and this, this again, this is very, very interesting if this is if this is happening, uh, according to an Xbox Era report, VGC goes on to say, Microsoft senior leadership have re reportedly debated the various pros and cons of releasing more of their ex exclusive software elsewhere, and it, uh, internally, not everyone is necessarily happy with this uh, decision. The mayor wasn't happy. Oh no. <laughs> But recouping the potential money left on the table by not releasing elsewhere has argu arguably won out. So again, they're going to be making more money if they're if they're releasing this on you know these games on other platforms, uh, which is very interesting to say, to say they released. Uh, I, I don't know. Again, this could be on a, on a on a on a case to case basis. Um, so I don't know. Uh, you know, Phil Spencer has said game exclusivity is decided on a case to case basis. Actually, but privately, he actually, according to last year's FTC lawsuit. Uh, the exact uh, VGC says had internal conversations suggesting that all Bethesda games would be exclusive going forward. So I'm not really sure where this sits, to be honest. But we're actually we're not we're not quite done uh, just yet uh, because we actually have a couple more things to uh, to note that are, are very interesting to say, to say the very least. Uh, there's a new report that just came out. 
Uh, and this is according to Giant Bomb's Jeff Grubb, who was elaborating on the recent claims that Microsoft is working on a new initiative, you know, for more Xbox exclusive games on other platforms. Again, this is another report from VGC, a separate report. Um, and so what he basically went on to say is that the other one that he uh, he has heard that's definitely under consideration, which is very interesting, uh, and it doesn't mean it's going to happen, but apparently it's in talks, is Gears of War. I mean... Dude, that's crazy. He's saying Gears of War is being reconsidered for this, he iterated. Um, now, Gears of War has sold over 22 million units and grossed over $1 billion um, when the company acquired the franchise from Epic Games in 2014, VG, VGC goes on to say. Um, and, and, and again, we've we've had, obviously, Gears of War 4 and 5 that have both come out from the uh, Coalition since uh, since that time. Uh, and obviously, you know, at some point, we're uh, assuming there's going to be a Gears of War 6. And it's kind of interesting because, obviously, with, with Microsoft having just bought Activision Blizzard, and having you know uh, obviously uh, all of the call of duty titles and they're saying they're keeping the call of duty titles exclusive uh, not sorry not exclusive excuse me let me backtrack they're keeping them multi-platform is what i meant to say uh they're keeping all the call of duty uh, titles multi-platform and that's the best thing for the player and it's also best the best thing for microsoft because they're making the most like it's a huge huge selling you know uh, uh game that they're going to be making money off of various platforms because they own it so even if it's being sold on PlayStation, they're making money off that because they own it. Um, you know, obviously they're not going to be, you know, drawing as many people to their console if, if they keep it exclusive. But but again, that's where you got to kind of you know use discernment and pick and choose. Okay, what what should what should we release on uh, other consoles? What should we keep on our consoles? You know, like Halo is probably going to stay on, on on their console. But Gears of War is interesting because I feel like it kind of falls in line with the Call of Duty kind of side of things, where Gears of War is a massive kind of you know, um, well it's not a first person, it's a third person shooter. Um, I was gonna say FPS, but it's a more like a, a, a TPS, a third-person shooter. But it, it's been a, such a huge franchise, and I think if, if you if you if you start selling this on other platforms, it increases the player base uh, and potentially exposes it to more people. And Gears of War is a great series. Yeah, four and five, I feel like fell a little bit short compared to the first three games, but still, it, they're still pretty solid in their own regard. And the multiplayer is a lot of fun. And to have, you know, that on all consoles, I mean, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think that'd be really cool to have Gears of War, um, you know, cross-play, multi-platform. Uh, I think that would really kind of uh, do good for um, for Microsoft to do that. Again, it's not, it's not, you know, obviously guaranteed that this is going to happen. But the fact that it's in talks is very interesting. So again, just to reiterate, we got Starfield, we got Hi-Fi Rush, uh, uh, we got, uh, we got, uh, what else? Gears of War. We have uh, the new, uh, the new um, Indiana Jones, right? So we got, we got a bunch of different games that are being considered for this, which is very, very interesting. Um, so I don't know. I, I mean, like I said, your guess is as good as mine if this is going to happen or not. But uh, oh yeah, Sea of Thieves. I forgot Sea of Thieves. So yeah, so that's Starfield, Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, Indiana Jones and Gears of War that are all being talked about five different games that are being talked about possibly coming to other consoles such as PlayStation so I don't know let me know if that's something you guys would be excited for and um, you know what which, which games do you like realistically I mean everybody would be like yeah let's get Halo and PlayStation but realistically that probably would be one that's not a good move for you know Microsoft to do uh, but Gears of War makes sense I think what games realistically would you like to see on other platforms? Uh, and do you even think this is a good idea at all or not? I know like maybe super hardcore like Xbox fanboys who are just wanting to start a war. And there's PlayStation fanboys too, by the way. I'm not trying to single out Xbox, but there's those there's those you know groups of people on both sides who just get mad at everything. And uh, you'd assume there's gonna be some people getting mad at this, but is it really that bad of a thing? Microsoft's still making money, and you got more of a player base for some of these games like Sea of Thieves and Gears of War online. Be great. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and if this ever happens, uh, I'll try to be the first one. To, well, you know what? I'm not going to try. I'm going to be the first one to let you guys know right here on the channel. Okay? We're, we're going we're gonna to do it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until then, game on. Thanks for watching. Hey, you. What are you doing? Join the Skeleton Army. Do it today. Don't wait until tomorrow because tomorrow will never come. The earth is going to fade. That's inevitable. The next second of your life is not even promised. So you better think about where you're going. And you might as well just join the Skeleton Army. Plus, we do kind of like you a little bit. So it'd be nice to see you around here. But if you don't want to, hey, you're lost. See you later.